Okay. Hey, what is up, guys? Steve here, and it is time to start another stream. As always, we have Speedrunner with us. Download the Domino's app today and become uh, the high reward. Hey. Speedrunner. And he loves himself some Domino's. Anyways, today we have uh, my my own my own stream played an ad. <laughs> Anyways, uh, today we have got Pidgeotto in Pokemon Blue Randomizer. Pidgeotto, um. Pidgeotto, I don't actually have a feel for how this run is going to go. On the outside, Pidgeotto, I thought, was going to be a fantastic Pokemon. I thought, you know, we would get uh, and a variety of moves, including Body Slam. Unfortunately, after Pidgeotto got decided, and then I looked into Bulbapedia, you can see the results right here. We do not have access to Body Slam. We do not have access to a good normal move. We do not have access to a good flying move other than fly. So, you know, we have to basically teach fly, which is okay, but it's it, it misses in the most important circumstances. Um, we don't get access That's to... That's what 95 moves do. We don't get access to good, like, badge boosting moves. We would love if we could have gotten Swords Dance, you know, or something... Something along those lines. Oh, that'd make it good. Yeah. Unfortunately, we are stuck with agility. One of the two worst badge boosting moves, in my opinion, next to acid armor. Um. Yeah. Although I think Pidgeot would have benefited more from acid armor to build up its bull, because it's already fast. Well, it sounds like you might be a fan of Reflect then. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we don't have a whole lot of other good moves. We may have access to Hyper Beam and Substitute, but as you guys probably know, those moves are basically a like five to ten minute penalty. Which, if we're going to be relying on those moves, we might as well just level up and then use our already kind of mediocre mish moves. Um, I don't know if Speedrunner plans on using Mirror Move. I might end up using Mirror Move if I don't get a good normal move. So, we're just going to have to see how the run plans out. Anyways, we've got yeah. okay middling stats. So, uh, we don't have any glaring weaknesses. So, that's pretty good. Yeah, we have yeah. the normal flying type weaknesses, but, you know, there's nothing you can do about that. And 70 special is not the worst. No. Game Dev, I think you may have missed the part where it says Swift. That may be slightly better than Quick Attack. But anyways, I think I am ready to go. Let me switch over to the game. Okay. Oh, uh, just a oh, second. I yeah. forgot to check what the nickname was going to be for the stream. So let me just do that for a second. We got three comments. There we go. I have got hmm. uh, Pidgeotto named Woody. For Woody Woodpecker, I love it. I don't know if any of you guys are old enough to Woodpecker. remember Woody Woodpecker from WB Kids. It's the um, the TV channel where you got to watch all your Yu-Gi-Oh. Is Yu -Oh. it the Yellow Bird? No, Woody Wo Woodpecker was the um, oh. spokesman, kind of like um, uh, kind of like the Pikachu of the Warner Warner Brothers channel. Oh. oh. For some reason, I was thinking of uh, something from Looney Tunes when you said that. Because you said Warner Brothers. Yeah. Warner... Br I mean, to be fair, Warner Brothers used to be a big thing. It used to be the channel that housed all of the cool shows, like Static Shock, Z Shaolin Showdown. I can't remember if Pokemon was on it, but it had Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh GX. It had all the cool, cool stuff. It was kind of like um, Cartoon Network, but... Um, before Cartoon Network. Yeah. Alright, I am ready to all go. Alright, so, uh... Alright, so, uh... Three, two, one, go. Uh, just in case anybody was worried about what's going to be happening with today, um, I foresee myself end up doing all of the training possible. I don't think I'm going to even be able to battle the league until I'm like level 65. So we're probably just going to end up having to pick up all the items. 
So we're probably going to be battling, uh, we're probably going to be going to Bill, probably going to be doing just about everything there is in the game. So I wouldn't be too worried about what Bill has today because we're probably going to find out. Yeah. Man, I forgot we don't start with quick attack. That's Pidgeot. Oh man, we just went straight to level 7. Uh, well, you're clearly ahead of me. Oh good, Gust is actually pretty decent, with Stab. Yeah, it'd be nice if it was a flying move. You know if Gust was a flying move, it would actually be better than Wing Attack in this game. That's kind of sad to think about. Yep. Oh my gosh, that's a pretty good item. So, did you see what, uh, Town Map Girl had? I sure did. So, the whole game is open to us already. <laughs> I know. That's a... Honestly, the only thing that would have been better is probably Cut. Unfortunately, we can't use Cut until we have Misty's badge. So, we don't have a lot of use for Cut. Yeah. We can't skip. Like, how cool would it be if you could skip Mount Moon? That would be awesome. You know, there would be like a one. Yeah, there's no way to... Like, I don't know how many items are available to us at the beginning of the game, because Cut never, ever seems to be the first one. So I imagine oh. there's probably like a 1 in like 25 or whatever chance that it's Cut. Yeah. On the bright side, this run, we may not have to worry about finding a Fly user. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You're definitely yeah, the right. the last couple of races have been quite hard on me for that. Uh, okay, yeah, I am not fighting the optional rival. Nope. Did you I, see what he had? Uh, no. By the time you got to the optional rival, I was just arriving to the Mart. Oh. Well, for the second time. Alright, we now have our Surf and Strength user, which means we just need Cut. What one did you catch? I just caught one. I got a Blastoise. Oh, I actually caught a Vaporeon, but can Vaporeon learn strength? You know, that's a good question. Uh, I want to say the answer is probably no. Well, at least it's for good for Surf. You know, I keep on want wanting to battle all these wild Pokemon, but I'm fairly confident I can't one-shot them. Wow, I am oh. getting loads of battles. That's unusual for the forest. I didn't even know you could get a battle in that space, right, that I just walked on. All right, I'm skipping that guy. On the bright side, there are a lot of good uh, vitamins. Oh yeah, there definitely are. Uh, Yes, you're right. Bill probably has all the answers, and we will most likely be visiting our prophet Bill today. Unfortunately, it may be a little bit longer um, than we anticipate, because I'm going to put him off as late as possible, of course. But we're going to be doing a lot of training in today's run, so yeah, ge gear up. Apparently, there's already some unavoidable training. Uh, okay. I'm gonna have to leave the forest because I got poisoned and I don't have an antidote. On the bright side, uh, leaving the forest is something I'm about to do too. Hmm. This is, uh... It's been Ooh, a while since a we had a Pokemon user. this bad. Yeah, when was the last time we did Air... When did we do Aerodactyl? Well... Uh, if I recall, Aerodactyl was able to get past the, um, the level 9 Caterpie guy. Oh. Oh, man. What did, does, what does that guy have? Well, I've well, got one way to find out. Yeah, exactly. Just, just go ahead and find out. Um, so, for Quick Attack, it's just straight up better because of priority, right? It's not, like, any yeah. different. Yeah. Yeah. 
Plus, I think it has more power points, too. Is it? Um, that's a good question. I actually updated... Uh, no, it's 30 to 35, but that's still a lot. Yeah. I updated my, uh, my moveset overlay to now inc include PP. I had to change that's websites nice. to do it, though. All right. Uh, I have a feeling walking all the way back there was probably a very bad idea, but... Well, let's find out. All right. Lapras guy, round two. Well, actually, no, it's round three. Actually beat him on the first try. Lucky. I know, he just kept spamming Growl. Wow, uh, he did nothing but yeah. spam Water Gun on me the first two times. Ouch. I was so scared. You know, I just had a... Yeah, mm -hmm. I just had a, a community poll asking people what they wanted to see for my red live stream next week, and uh, people decided to vote for Kabuto, and that's going to be a rough one, because it only scratch it starts with Scratch, and it's quite bad. Uh, for which game? Red. Red? Oh, well, I have yeah. some really, really good advice for you. You what can learn from my video. Uh, don't face the league until level 68. Want to know why? So You will be uh, one-shot by guess. something. I don't remember what. I think it was the Venusaur in red. Or, uh, sorry, in uh, blue. You'll be one-shot no matter what and outsped until level 68. And then he becomes a breeze. Hmm. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Well, in my red runs, my the rival always has a Charizard, but I don't have to worry about the Venusaur. Oh, I'm still not 100% if it was Venusaur was the issue, but something one shot me. I just can't remember what it was. I think I can, I'll just watch your video on it. Yeah, yeah, I did two runs in that video. Oh boy, uh, I am not doing great. Uh, Brock is turning out to be quite a bit more challenging than I anticipated. Yeah, the tentacruel kept spamming Bide. Oh, that's not the reason I thought it was uh, a problem. It just kept hitting me. Oh. No, sorry, no, sorry, not the right, tentacruel. I, fix this. I kept hitting me. I'm not utilizing sand attack enough. Well, during the bide turns, I would utilize it. Just in general. Just in general, not utilizing it enough. Yeah. Oh, another bide, huh? Okay. It might be worth teaching at least on for the Route 3 trainers. Maybe something has a rock type. Boy, you are the most accurate tentacruel ever, huh? He just hit me, you know, with an acid, just with five sand attacks, just like that. <laughs> yeah, you know, I actually would have beaten Brock on my first try, but I, the tentacruel was in red health. It landed an acid and killed me. Yeah, he sure is resilient. Yeah, sure is. All right, uh, we don't need. Oh, hold on. I have to rewind. I'm sorry. Uh, just realized, I do, in fact, need to teach Bide. I sold it, and then I immediately realized I might need it. Okay, maybe this Pokemon would have been worth teaching Bide for. Oh, Unless wow. Unless I can get some lucky crits. That Pokemon had significantly... Worse defense than I thought it would. That one, too. Come on. Okay. You're not going to like what one of the Route 3 trainers has. Uh, I recommend you teach Bide. I have taught Bide. Oh. You've already thought ahead of me, then. The spot in your Bill's house that has the cut vine or the walking trainer, that will have... My big gay dance, just kidding, it will have the key card. Well, we might find out what Bill has, because I don't think we're going to be able to avoid him. Oh, that's a Pokemon. 
You know, you're right. I probably should use Bide. Unless, of course, he uses Withdrawal. Okay, well, I took him down first try, but unfortunately I now have to go back to heal and all my potions are now gone. I thought for sure that would make you laugh. Hm. Well, you gave me the heads up, so that was nice. Yeah, see, I'm nice sometimes. Well, I probably would have gone into the battle at level 34, realized I needed a reset, so save me a reset. Well, I... I, I uh, beat that Omastar on the first try, but I was in red health and it had like six sand attacks on it. I almost had a two minute reset. Oh, I didn't even think about uh, using Bide Ooh, for its unnatural God. swift abilities. How many rock types are on this route? Clearly all of them. Oh, hey Onyx. What is this? Hello Beedrill. Hey, another Lapras. You know, that went surprisingly well. Yeah. I took down yeah, the Onyx. Yeah, I guess Bide actually ended up being a good move. I took down the Onyx in three attacks. Hello, John. Yeah, I hope I get a win. Uh, I don't think Jinx can learn any helpful HM moves. You know, I just got that Jinx Ooh, too. So I think I know where you may be. Well, I got Thunder. Hey, t can Tangela learn Cut? Just, uh, just a second there, guys. I am uh, resetting my game hook window. There we go. Can what? Can Tangela learn Cut? Um, Tangela Cut. I want to say yes. Makes sense. It has vines. Thanks, uh, John. I I do hope I get some good luck today. I don't think we're gonna get. Oh, a, he's given both of us luck. I don't oh, think we're gonna boy. get a uh -oh. good finish time luck. But you know, I think there's definitely a good chance we could still go for the win. I definitely uh, think. I it, just talked to a. I just talked to an optional trainer who has a Gengar, and the only way I can hit it is with Bide. You know? Oh, phew. That oh sucks. my god. Yeah, be you might just be careful. That's all I'm gonna say. Wow, I've got two max elixirs. That's awesome. Three! Three max elixirs. Sure is. I think that's all of them in the whole game, isn't it? There's only three. Uh I don't know. Bill is the key to winning. I huh? might want to look that. See, here's the problem. If Bill yeah, is the key to winning, I'd up. much rather do Bill at a higher level where the key to winning is one-shots. That is true, yes. You know, I feel really stupid. I keep on attacking these Pokemon that I'm throwing Pokeballs at. That's like the fifth mm -hmm. one I've done that to. And uh, Mount Moon is just filled with wild Chansey. Like, I'm just encountering so many of them. I just found... The perfect HM Pokemon. It learns all of the HM moves. All, uh... All of wait, them, but the one, one we're going to teach Pidgeot. Uh... Kingler? Uh... It learns the same moves as Kingler, uh, but it's not Kingler. It's, Krabby? Uh, the only other one that can learn three. Oh, right, except Krabby, of course. <laughs> Lick a tongue? Yep. Oh, yeah, I got it right. What's my prize? Uh, for those of you who don't know, Lick a tongue and Kingler slash Krabby, they are the best HM Pokemon in the game because they learn all of them but fly. And uh, Flash, but we're not going to talk about Flash. No. If it was Gen... In, in, when we start doing Gen 2, Flash will be kind of helpful.
Uh, Did you uh, pick up both TMs in Mount Moon? No, I'm not that far yet. Hey, look, it's the Pokemon I hate. Get in the ball. I actually don't remember which Pokemon I've already caught, which is a bit of a problem. Is Bill in Gen 2? Uh, yes. Elite? Yes, he is. In fact, I believe you have a mandatory encounter in, with him uh, in Ecrotique, don't you? Yeah, if you choose to heal at the center there, which most of the time we do. So, yeah, pretty much mandatory. Oh, that could have been bad. Uh, so, there's this Electrode. Um, I sand attacked it. Uh -oh. That ended up being the right move. <laughs> it uh, certainly could have it taken me down if it didn't miss. Missed. No, it just used Sonic Boom, and it could have it could have taken me down real quick. Oh wait, that's I actually just found a Lickitung, but I already that's the spot where that item is supposed to be. Are you gonna pick Razor Wind? Where it's supposed to be. Uh, I'm I'll, yeah, I'll ch I always check Razor Wind. No, I meant do you you think you'll use Razor Wind? Uh, depends on how early I get it. I am considering. I'm telling it, you right now, you'll get it. Are you going to use it? <laughs> Probably. I also checked uh, both fossils this time. Nothing important. Well, I mean, you have to get the town map. It's a staple at this point. <laughs> I guess you're right. Yeah. What was I thinking? I don't remember which one I actually picked. <laughs> I don't even remember what the second one was. <laughs> Let's no. see. Surf, strength, cut. Why? Line. Why? Why yeah, were you born everything. this way? So, um, interesting little fun fact here, because you'll probably run into this issue too. Uh, turns out, priority moves really, really good when uh, you're paralyzed. Yeah. Haven't finished your catching spree, I see. Uh, I just finished, actually. Hey, buddy R. Welcome to the stream. Uh, you know, nothing is up in particular yet, but we will probably run into some sort of brick wall. We're going to choose to skip Bill today until, uh, until we absolutely oh. must go back. Because, let's be honest, we're going to have to go back. It, it seems like every run that we've done pretty recently, uh, Bill has been a staple of the run. And you know what? Yeah. I'm, uh, did you, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to be disappointed either, because we're going to need all the training we can get, even if it is bad training. Hello, Michaela. Uh, did you check where the rare candy in Cerulean usually is? You know, I usually do, and I actually just... I walked right by it for some reason. Uh, I was actually wrong earlier. There's four max elixirs in the entire game. Four of them. So you're saying I should go pick it up. That's a max elixir. Like, I did not realize there were that many max elixirs in this game. Well, thank you for the uh, advice. To be fair, I was yep. going to go that Even way Even though you anyways. usually lie to me. Well, I was going to go to that way anyways because I uh, needed to heal after a certain battle, but it's nice it's nice having a peace of mind that now that I have three max elixirs, the Elite Four is not going to be an issue with PP. All right, we got the max potion. Yep. And the super Pretty much. potion. You could use a max elixir after every fight. You know, technically, max elixirs are so good. Like, I think in these runs, I've only ever used, like... At most, like one max elixir and an elixir. Um, I think there have been a few a few runs where I've ended up using three. Not four though. No rival fight. Uh, we're going to skip that rival fight for now because uh, we're not gonna one shot really much anything. Yeah, we'll it's, come back later. Quite frankly, any way you dice it, Bill's always a bad decision. Because here's the reason why: if you get a good item from Bill. You just struggled with, like, 11 trainers. So, if you come back to Bill, you will come back most likely one-shotting all of the trainers. So, it, it, it pays to check Vermilion first, at the very least. 
Yeah. Just coming back, you know, five, six levels higher and coming back to almost one-shot all the Pokemon makes a world of difference. Bill could end up being well, I like, almost had a reset. Yeah. Bill could end up being a on a good day, like a four minute, you know, run or way to go. Or on a bad day, Bill can take upwards of Oof, I, I can't even think of it. Sky's the limit. I mean like nine minutes, honestly. If you struggle on any of them. Like for instance, what if one of them has a Gengar? If one of them has a Gengar, we're we're bound. Yeah, let's I'm gonna keep Bide just because of ghosts. Because does Pidgeotto... Well, yeah, it has flying moves. That's the only way it can hit ghosts. Eventually. At least since, yeah. When I, I get a flying move, then I'll get rid of Bide. I'll let you know if I find Fly, though. I mean, that's pretty important to this run. Yeah. Oh, whoa! Um, so I just got hit by a roar. Successfully. <clears throat> it's not often you see that succeed in battle, huh? Right. Um, for some reason, my dumb brain kept on not throwing the Pokeball immediately, and uh, it used Roar. Yeah, that's quite a pain. I remember when I was doing my no experience run in Pokemon Yellow, I was trying to look for a wild Vulpix, I think it was, but it just kept spamming Roar every time I find one. <laughs> oh... Gold teeth. Okay. I really should not be saying these key items out loud. Uh, I, I am the official owner of the SS ticket. That's alright. The ones that we pick up every single run is probably not going to be a big deal to share. Just because you know I've picked it up. You, uh, and I know you've picked it up. Yeah. Like, like you're I, always going to check what the Ike Voucher guy gives. Yeah, and you probably checked Old Rod guy, too. Or, yeah, yeah well, okay. The, the guy who gave the Old Rod. My oh. The, the, the uh, Pokemon fan club guy. Do I have a ball? Nope. All right. I, I realized I when I was at the PC, I forgot to keep something that can learn Dig. Guess who just picked up Body Slam? A uh, guy who can't use it? You know, we we don't like uh, talking about the details. <laughs> Guess who's also got the proud owner of Horn Drill? <laughs> can, can we rename it to Beak Drill? I think I think it would uh, it'd be pretty fitting. That would be fitting, yes. This was a bad idea. Okay, I didn't save. Hopefully I don't need to. I I have made a bad decision. Magikarp. I've made a very bad decision. I should have put this and part. What off. would that be? Um you know, I got I got poisoned getting an item, and now, unfortunately, I have to go back and heal. Which is quite far out of the way. Ow. I randomized the game a year ago and left Legendary on, and the first bug catcher had a Mewtwo, and it was a Nuzlocke. Yeah, that's why we have Legendary's banned. Right. The first ever practice run I ever did, the first guy right after Brock had a Mewtwo, and I was screwed. The mute. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember what Pokemon in this game have uh, uh, good AI, but I think that s some random trainers have good AI, and uh, it felt like that guy did. <laughs> so he was clearly going to use uh, Psychic like every time, or Swift. Yeah. I know the cool trainers, and I think the burglars also have good AI. I am, uh, I am very, very disappointed in takedown. I just missed twice. Ouch. Yeah. I was watching one of, uh, Gym Leader Matt's videos, and he said that he straight up hates the move and he'll never ever use it. I hate takedown. He thinks it's the, he says it's just the, it's the normal type version of submission in his opinion. I agree. 
Just like Would in... you ever randomize the TM moves? Uh, you mean like the learn set? No, no he means the, the numbers The TMs are too. shuffled. There is an option to randomize the, the TM numbers. Uh, or just the TMs, like, themselves, like, um... Shuffle them around? Right. Ooh. Are you serious? I used a repel, and I'm finding all the Doug Trios. Or what is supposed to be a Doug Trio? You know what I meant. Yeah, I know what you meant. Let's see. Get rid of that. I find that very ironic. That guy gave me the bike voucher. I find it ironic because I need the bike voucher to get cut, and cut will allow me to go back to to pewter, in which is what a whole goose chase for for one item. Yeah, John says he did one randomizer, and Brock gave the TM for disable. Oh, literally the TMs could be any move. Oh. oh. It just doesn't feel like Pokemon. It, well, okay, it doesn't feel like... Like, this still feels a more official Pokemon to me, because we're still playing everything, like... The only thing that's being randomized is the, the things that they are just normal Pokemon. Whereas, you're not supposed to get Disable. Yeah. But you can play it any way you want. That, that sounds... Uh, different and fun in a different way. Oh, jeez. I hate rock types. Boy, I, uh, I did way too much walking right there. Oh, that's a ro that's a rock type. It's a good thing I saved there. Really good thing. Okay. Oh, thank you for using poison gas. Oh, that could have gone so poorly. I think I know who you're facing. Uh, certain Rhydon decided to use two stomp attacks. I Are you facing the rocket in the game corner? Yes. Man, we're like at the same place right now. It's funny. I mean, it's not that funny. We both, we both got the T, uh, and we knew exactly where the quickest items would be. Yeah, that's true. You know, I remember in one of our races, you ended up finding Body Slam in the in the rocket hideout because because uh, there was one TM in the in the hideout that I didn't even know was there, and you ended up showing me. I'm like, "Oh, so now I check it every time." Oh, you you It's normally where where would that you're, normally you're be? You're learning my secrets. I'm showing them to the world, hey, you and you're you taking advantage of it. Smart. Hey, it's not my fault you keep your VODs up. As, the, as they would say in uh, Jurassic Park, clever girl. Ooh, uh, that's so, uh, definitely um, something. Completely irrelevant advice. Um, if I hit myself with Bide, appear, that appears to not count. I hit it myself. It completely cancels out Bide. I hit myself three times. This Gengar still has not damn not taken any damage. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, using uh -oh. a first turn sand attack was uh not the right decision. Uh oh. Come on, come on, this is the last Pokemon. Come on. Damn it. Oh, at least you missed. That might be the hardest that rocket has ever been. Uh, 
Alrighty. Well, unfortunately, I am not going to go that. Oh. Wait, we are going to go heal because that's what a responsible person would do. Yeah. Unfortunately for me, um, I may be responsible, but I am also stupid. Um, should have digged. <laughs> yeah, play the game of where did I last freaking heal? You know, I, I'm fairly confident the last place uh -oh. I healed was absolutely here. I just lived a self-destruct at 2 HP. Uh, that means I'm going to have to face that guy. That's... That sounds terrifying. Yeah, you are. You're gonna have to face him. I tried to use a sand attack. I got one off, and it blew itself up, and I lived at 2 HP. Oh, these items. I should have went to the, the PC. I should not be holding on to the, all these items. Is that my first one? Yeah. Oh my god, that is my first one. I picked up my first rare candy. First one first one so I'm guessing there's one spot you never did check I guess so because my first rare candy was somewhere else Wow! just oh just the so iron many... helped yeah it could be oh so many weak Pokemon imagine if I... yeah imagine if I had lived that self-destruct just because of the iron I used earlier Mmm, I think I saw that guy. Unfortunately, Quick Attack uh, did not do very well getting up to him. Did I just okay, use Bide? Let's... I am stupid. I did just use Bide. Like, I am just... Oh! Well, Razor Wind was short-lived. Is this guy really para-wrapping me? I'm doomed. Yeah, he is. I died. I died. A re I had a reset from that guy. Okay. Well, we're not wasting time here, unfortunately. There are way too many other places we could go. Yeah, for sure. Let's see. Uh huh. Uh huh. Let's see. Oh, that's right. got to be somewhere else, and. I forgot about that. I don't have the bike. Yeah, neither do I. But I um, the the cycle guard told me that uh, I should have the bike. Unfortunately, he he can't tell me what to do. Yeah, no, he cannot tell you what to do. Unfortunately, in this case, he only can, Professor but... Oak can tell you what to do. Right. Only Oak can tell you what to do in battle. Right. This time wasn't battle though. Um, you know, sometimes. Siri, you know, I don't know what to say. Uh, oh, shoot. That's, uh, quite painful. Ouch. I, I hope this guy doesn't have good AI. We're going to go ahead I and don't try think he something. Does. Let's go ahead and go a certain way. Um, I normally don't go this way too this early, but I really am desperate for that item. Mm. Come on, I'm pretty confident you don't have good AI. You know... I'm beginning to think you do. I'm starting to think, uh... Teaching takedown is just a bad idea. I am not using it at okay. all, because I am just... I'm pe petrified at how much damage I will <laughs> take by using it. Yeah. All right, let's hope I do not regret what I just did. Nope, I do not regret it at all. All right, Dang now, it. I don't remember if I remember the layout of this area. Oh, I know where you are. This area um, was optional to me. I could have went a different way. No! Sure could have. Oh, what am I? Oh, I am just so stupid. Oh, please, please don't make this a bad decision. Okay, Chris. Right now, I am eating Subway. Nice. 
I like the, I like the Black Forest ham meat. That's my favorite. Oh, it worked out. Um, I believe there are no battles between me and the next spot. Okay, Tangela can learn cut. Okay. But you don't want to teach it cut. Uh, it's 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 not a good move for it. You can't tell me what to do. Only but, Professor Oak can tell me what to do. You know, Oak Oak isn't a no know, all knowing being. <laughs> uh, he definitely is. What are you talking about? Um. Yeah, unfortunately, there's there is no defying Oak. Yeah. The will of Oak is absolute. Boy, I don't have that a good spot in my... Oh my god, I can finally get rid of Bide. Yes! Get learned wing attack? I sure did. I hate Man, I'm definitely a higher level than you. I learned that a while ago. I don't like the sound of that. But then again, I did fight a ton of chances in Mount Moon. I did not. Did I not heal? Please tell you to go inside Diglett's cave. Please tell me I yeah. healed. Okay, I'll take that. That okay. certainly works. Of course Weedle got a crit. Why wouldn't it get a crit? Oh the no. The all-knowing Weedle. Don't be a brick wall to me, please. I I have I have an item, right? Yeah, I do. Hmm. Okay. Well. You know what? I'm gonna go check what this is. All right. Uh, oh, that was a waste. Cloister's got some really low HP, so unfortunately we can't survive two aurora beams. So you know that. I compel you to play more Pokemon. Um, you know, I play a decent... Imgev just told me the same thing. Oh. I play a decent amount of Pokemon. Uh, I play way more than any healthy, normal person should. I'm not... And I'm proud of that. Oh, man. This guy is kind of a brick wall. Yeah, Can Aurora, I, yeah Aurora my be solution miss? to get past him was one I might regret later. I don't, I don't know if you're willing to do that solution, but I ended up doing it. I don't think I can beat him. This is two trainers now I have not been able to beat. Pidgey Oto sucks. It sure does. I'm at 13 resets. I'm at 10 so far. I'm only level 32. So sad. Which badge allows me to surf? That would be Koga's badge. So, um, that's just not happening. And since we can't get past that other guy, we don't even get a chance at learning what Koga has. So, yay. I'll be sure to let you know. Yeah, as far as the, the run itself, it does not appear I'm going to be ahead at any point, considering I wasn't able to beat two certainly probably easy guys. So, we, I don't, I don't Game know. Game Dev says you should also do a Pokemon Stadium battle against Steve next Saturday. I, you know, I've only played, oh my god, are you seriously? Another one of these guys? No. You know, I'm getting really sick and tired of Cloyster. Yeah. They're, they're everywhere, and I can't beat hey, I a found single one of them. Oh no, this is Explosion. Do you think we'll ever do a Pokemon that needs Explosion? Uh... No. <laughs> I don't know if you were being serious. 
that. I wasn't. Oh boy. Well, that was a complete waste of time, wasn't it? What is this? Hey, I can get payday if I want to. That's not till next week, though, so I'd have to pass. Cloyster is so far the hardest Pokemon for me to beat. Not a rock really? ground type. Oh my god. Cloyster. And this one's a dick. It, it, it obviously knows how Bide works. Hmm. Yeah, payday is tomorrow. Nice. Isn't he technically cheating by using a different Pokemon than what he should not be? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. We're using Pidgeotto and Pidgeot. Oh, uh, is yours evolved? Is that why somebody's confused? Uh, I don't. I'm not sure. I'm just waiting for. I'm waiting for a follow up because I'm confused on what Michaela's saying. That's that's a yes. Yours is evolved. Yeah. I am not even close to evolution. I don't know what to do. This is bad. This is one of the very f few races where I have absolutely felt outclassed and there's nothing I can do about it. When I was facing that uh, Cloister Trainer, I know which one you're talking about. I, I was level 35 when I kept attempting him and I kept losing. I was level 32. You know what I ended up doing to get past that fight? No. I uh, used my one rare candy to evolve. Oh. I'm hoping I don't regret that later. You believe in me? <laughs> uh, I would definitely not put money on me winning this race. Yeah. Oh, you never know. You have. I. We both pulled Hail Marys in the past. Oh, God. This was a bad decision coming here. Okay, man. I oh. really need. Okay, I need to go buy some healing items. This is no. Stupid. I I didn't say anything about money. I was saying if if I were a betting man, I would not bet on myself right now. You know how uh like sometimes boxers will will bet on themselves. Yeah, this is not me today. I would not bet on me because I people I'm... in sports allowed to bet on themselves. No, it doesn't stop them yeah, from doing like, it. Yeah, because I was like, wait though. a minute. But yeah, that is true. Yeah. See, in boxing, uh, you could, well, I mean, they probably are a lot smarter now, but back in the day, you could just, you know, get your, like, wife to bet on you, so you're not betting yourself directly. Yeah. I think whatever you or I said must have cleared something up, because Michaela retracted the message. Uh, why? Why? Golem? Like... I'm doing eight damage a hit. Eight. All right, it's a good thing Marowak can't hit a Pidgeot. Oh. I really not buy healing items. It hit me with one rock throw, and it, it blasted me. Man, rock throw never hits anything. It, it hit me with a rock throw through three sand attacks. Oh, that hurts. Ow. Is that like a less than horn drill? Probably. <gasps> We're not going to talk about what just happened, people. I was uh, reading I game nothing. dev's comment and I, um, I may have been holding a button too long. I almost uh, took myself out with recoil damage. The opponent had so much health. <sighs> Wrong place. Oh, so ice tea or ice cube? You saw that, huh? No, we're we're not gonna talk about that. Give me a full report, please. Well, we're in the medium slow level up group. We will have another shot at that shortly. 
It's okay, there's nothing at level 36 versus 37 that I can think of. Mm. Not Is yet, anything but else? we might shortly. Um, just need to... Uh, okay. I know. am still missing something. You know, I hate Dragonite. I don't know how many times I have to say that every run, yeah. but I hate it. Until you get the point across. Ooh, that 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 GIF for uh, Pidgeot's real cool. Didn't you didn't you take all of those from uh, the Gen Five games? Yes, because the they made GIFs for all of them. Yeah. Hey, is Gen Five the only game where the champ has a legendary? If you were to randomize Gen Five, would you take that into account? Uh. I don't think in Gen 5 the champion has a legendary. Oh, I guess if you count the final N fight. But I don't think he's really considered the champion in that game. He activates the credits, but you're not in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I've watched a handful of your videos and I I also don't feel like he's the champion. Yeah. It gets you it gets you to the credits, which counts as beating the game, but you're never in the Hall of Fame. You know, there's no worse feeling than doing something that's really hard in a really big time waste and having nothing to show for it. Yeah, that hurts. Okay, I've got... Wait a minute. Oh, I know what he has. I know what he has. There's only one thing he can have. Oh, I'm, I'm talking about... Uh... Giovanni. I got past the most annoying Pokemon and I got nothing. G Not oh, Giovanni himself. Giovanni won? The two people in front of him. Oh, yeah, they're even harder than Giovanni. G you know, I'm cleaning up all of these hard battles uh, and unfortunately, they're not panning out to giving they're not giving me the items I was hoping <sighs> yeah I checked a few other places for items and I haven't had much luck oh farfetched you have swords dance that's pretty cool isn't farfetched the only Pokemon that gets swords dance by level up in gen 1 does Scyther not get it via level up it does no, oh. I'm asking. Does it I'm not? not? Oh, I, I thought both Scyther and Does Pinsir it? got it. Like, like in the high 50s. Well, maybe. In the high 50s, I must have just 50s. heard that somewhere. I mean, if someone wants to confirm that, that you know, I'm fairly confident that both Cis uh, Pinsir and Scyther learned uh, sword stance. And I could be wrong. They... You know, I could have been just factoring in that they can both learn it. I could have sworn they got a via level up. Hey, I found Egg Bomb. Congrats. TM I'm always finds a way to show up. Did I save? That's an Alakazam. And it uh -oh. didn't die in one hit. Thank God for recover. Yeah. I got Mega you know, Kick. I actually, I actually, oh, I actually watched uh, Scott's uh, Execute video. Did you know that the TM for Egg Bomb can only be learned by Execute, Executor, Chansey, and Mew? That sounds accurate. Yeah. So, like, what use is a TM if only four Pokemon can learn it? It's not even good. Well. I've got this win in the bag. I just got the Helix Fossil. So now the power of God is on my side. Uh, well, no. Charizard can learn the TM for Swords Dance. I just meant, like, by level up. I think Farfetch is the only one. By level up. No. Man, I really wish I would find more rare candies. It's... The TM was probably nothing important. I've already got everything I need anyway for a move set. I mean, I don't need Sky Attack anymore when I've got the other move. 
Since when did you get Sky Attack? Uh, I never did. But since I have another move, I'm not going to bother looking for it. Oh, uh, that's not what I thought you had, but okay. Oh, Metronome Slam, huh? Let's see. Uh, where haven't I looked? Oh, wait. It's probably over here. At least I didn't waste my time oh, since that's... that was something needed. That's funny. Uh, I didn't know that was a thing. So, um, Firo just used uh, mirror move on my fly while it was in the air, and nothing happened. Okay, so it does miss if you're in the air. Okay. But it had it had text. I didn't see what the text was, but it definitely had text, and it wasn't like you missed. I wish I could go back and see what it was. Alright, if I could get this battle won, that would be a pretty good boost to my ego. So far, so good. Ooh, that hurt. Oh, and it confused. The reason, I'm not pick the reason I'm not picking up the items on the ground is because uh, I was just seeing if any of them were rare candies. So, I, uh, I made a, uh, a pretty bad mistake. Um, I used fly while confused. Oh. Chancey what happens just, if you hit yourself and you're in the air? Chancey just hit me with a four-turn double slap, so, you know, bad, bad things. Yeah. The sad thing is I was feeling really confident because, you know, Chansey was using Minimize. I'm like, haha, I have Swift, sucker. Uh, I never woke up from Sing, though. Ouch. Yeah. Oh, that rare candy was exactly where it was. Oh, that's good to know because I usually pick up rare candies that that are that are the usual rare candies just by habit. Well, I'm happy I have that badge. It'll be real, real unfortunate if I need to use that TM. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That so I actually looked this up. Uh, in red and blue, there are twelve rare candies, but I've always seen in everybody's uh, challenge runs, like J Rose and everyone else, they say they have eleven. I looked it up, the 12th rare candy is in Cerulean Cave, but in our randomizer, we could theoretically get 12 rare candies. Hold on a second. That... I mean, the information is accurate. Um, I'm pretty sure when he says 12, he means 12 accessible rare candies. Thankfully, steel is not a type in Gen 1. Yes, otherwise that Magneton would have been a lot more difficult. Yeah, I wince a lot at Magneton that I really don't need to. Well, it's official, guys. I got the last elixir, so we now have elixirs for everybody. Even if we don't want it. <laughs> I also got... Oh. Well, I'm not going to do it, but... uh interesting question. So you know how you can dig out of the safari zone? Out of curiosity, do you think you can fly out of the safari zone? I tried that. You can't. Good to know. Yeah, I tried that once a long time ago and ended up being false. Bummer. I think it's treated like a dungeon. Oh, that's the bicycle. Do you think the steel type kind of hurts rock? Uh, it doesn't make rock any better. Okay, this is going to be a, a predicament. Oh, I know where to go. Let's see. Uh, so, so, um... Fossil, fossil, ticket. Oh. Do I have strength? I can't remember. Wasn't it, like, like super early? Uh, no. It, I don't think so. Yeah, actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I have strength. I would have taught it to Blastoise by now. So I still need, I still need uh, an HM. There's only like, not a lot more left. Hmm. Okay, so I still need to check. Card key, super rod. 
Oh, an SS ticket. Well, well, Steve, you're uh, definitely going to lose. I just got the best TM in the game, Rage. Oh, I got that one too. That means you must be on the SSN. Yep. So you're, you're still trying to get Double Edge too? Uh, I've already found that. A long time ago, actually. Hey, I had I found Horn Drill. Oh, nice. That was when I said, that's when I was talking about Body Slam. I wasn't wrong, per se, because I did check Body Slam. It just happened to not be Body Slam. It, did you see it was one number off? Because Body Slam is usually eight and Horn Drill seven. Yeah, that was kind of the part of the joke. At least it was in my brain. Oh. All right, I'm gonna check what gentleman candy guy's guarding. Oh, I never do that. All right, guys. Uh, I'm just looking for rare candies. Uh, you know when I was I was joking about Bill earlier, guys. There is starting to be a very real chance we're gonna have to check Bill. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But John if he... says do a mew run. Use horn drill. <laughs> so um. I have not gotten, uh, hold on, I'm selling things. I have not gotten strength, and there are, I think, three places left. I'm about to check one of them. All right. But it's starting to look like Bill. Yeah, yeah, I know we can surf to Blaine. That's one of the three places left to, to check. You can also go through the, if you, uh, I don't know if you have fly or not, but if you have yep. the surf, you can go to the S-word islands. There's nothing there. It's barren. Okay, guys, there are two places left, and I, because Speedrunner was going to the SSN, he is probably still looking for items, which means there are only, uh, he is probably already checked Blaine. So I'm going to go out on a limb and skip the one place that's probably very easy to check, which is the Pokemon Mansion, and I'm going to go to Bill. If this Hail Mary doesn't work, I might as well stab myself. Uh, I'm not sure you would want to check Bill. All right, are, you, are you telling but me you that strength is absolutely in Pokemon Mansion? Uh, I'm just saying strength is, uh, somewhere out of the way for, uh, almost every run, it's definitely out of the way to check. Oh, see, game dev, game dev has informed me that stabbing myself will give me the stab bonus, therefore I should do it. Uh, I recommend not stabbing yourself, please, thank you. Well, it could be with, like, a spoon, I didn't specify with what. It would just be poking. <laughs> No, I could use the uh, the non-spoony end, and then it's kind of stabbing. Oh god! I always keep a spoon on my desk for ice cream. Do you really? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay. So the thing is, I have, I think I've already mentioned on the channel. I've already, I pretty much have unlimited chicken by working at a chicken factory, um, as an accountant. So um, my diet consists of chicken and pretty much ice cream so yes my desk just all perpetually has a spoon let's see you know i'm starting to think double think edge that's... might not exist uh it has to exist somewhere you trolled me How did, how, what, would I ever do that? I, on your advice, went to Pokemon Mansion. You know what I didn't find there? Strength. What? I did uh, not find strength. All I said was, strength is somewhere that's out of the way for almost every run we do. Oh that's my god. Hint. That's basically <laughs> what I was doing. Damn it. <laughs> I interpreted that rock. Hey, technically, I never lied. I just gave you a riddle. If I were streaming playing Call of Duty, would you watch? Um, yes, I would. Um, would I watch it for, let's say, 
uh, more than like two or three hours? Probably not, but I would watch it for like two or three hours. Hey, I found rest. I'll hold on to that. What? Whoa, whoa hold on. Uh, I, I found actually, rest. I'd very much like to know where rest is because uh, I just got agility and I don't think I'm going to be holding on to agility for that long. Okay. Uh, without uh, telling me, all right, is it a place that I would typically check? Uh, it is. You mean like a location that you would go to or like a specific item spot? Yes. Is it a spot that I, you said you watch a lot of my runs? Is it an item spot I would normally check? Uh, if you normally have all your moves by that point, you never check it. So it's, oh, no. You never, so you're... you never really check it. Oh, no. Oh, no. But it's on the main path. It's on the main path towards, uh... Is it, is it a spot I would game. check, uh, if I had my elixirs? Uh, if you're looking for elixirs, you most likely will check that spot. Okay, so it's... It's either in uh, Rocket Hideout or Sylph Co. And considering I pretty much checked all the spots in Rocket Hideout, it must be in Sylph. But it could be anywhere in Sylph. I check a lot of spots in Sylph. Generally, I check the 4th and 10th floor. Sometimes the Earthquake spot, but I then generally again, uh, don't. Yeah. But then again, like how many TMs are actually in Sylph Co? Like three? can check them really quick um i'm not i'm not 100 percent oh. where they all are i know 100 percent where earthquake and where uh where swords dance are I'll, hey if you t uh, if you tell me where it is i'll tell you where uh seismic toss is mm, i'll do it to be nice it's where takedown is oh god that's far oh it's not so, Seismic Toss is where Seismic Toss is supposed to be. I hate you. <laughs> this was uh, one of the worst deals I've ever made. Oh, Bill! 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 I hate you, Bill. Bill, why do you always hold magical secrets? Come on, Bill's done nothing wrong. Why, why are you constantly important, Bill? You can have any item in this game, and you always choose good items. Why? Why, Bill? Why? Who knows why? Bill's got some uh, dark sense of humor. He does. He absolutely does. Oh, I just found an awesome move, but the problem is Pidgeot cannot learn it. With Swords Dance. I found Swords Dance. I hate Bill. I hate Bill with burning passion. Uh, no, Oak! Oak! Come on, Oak! You cannot do this to me! I'm just trying to get a leg up on the competition. I just want to use Repel. That's all. It, I just want to repel the repel Jinx from battle. That's all. Huh. Would that work? No. Of course not. It's a traitor battle. <laughs> <laughs> I just I'm using it because I'm going through my items too fast. Do you think maybe repels actually do work in battle? They make you win any trainer battle, but Oak thinks it's too overpowered, so he always stops you. I think he thinks it's mean. Think about it, alright? Okay, imagine... So, have you ever heard of... Um, there's there's a, there's a spray out there called Liquid Ass. Have you ever heard of it? Uh, I think I have heard of it. it it's essentially fart spray. Um, liquid farts, or essentially. So, um, I imagine that's what repels are. Liquid Ass. So, um... Oak probably thinks it's very mean to use liquid ass on an opponent's Pokemon. <laughs> That's how I like to think it works. <laughs> He's just reminding us to be a decent human being. Now, wild Pokemon on the other hand, go ahead, spray liquid ass to your heart's content.
know what's funny? In, uh, starting in, a uh, Gen 9, Scarlet and Violet, they added the ability for you to flee from trainer battles, but if you do it, it counts as a blackout, you lose money, and you go back to the center, so, like, why would you ever do it? Um, oh, there is a reason. Hmm. Do you want to know the reason? Why? EV training. Oh... Maybe. If, if you don't I know Gen want... 9 was being very friendly to competitors. Yeah, if you don't want the EVs of that Pokemon, then don't. Oh. Yeah. That's a good idea. Oh, you know what? I, I'm i going to train. I don't know what level you are, but I am probably severely underleveled. I have not gone out of my way to train at all this run. You probably don't want to know what my level is. I am level 48. I'm level 53. Wow. Man, going out of the way to get candy seems to be worth it. I already have uh, five candies now, and I've already used one. Wow. I have, uh, I think, three in the, the PC, and I have not used any. So I think if I never used that one candy, I'd have six right now. But yeah, I've just been going out of my way and just checking spots. I, I typically only do that if I need elixirs. Oh, I just do it because I worry about what's going to be at the league. That is a valid argument, because uh, if there is a single, like, Rhydon or Cloyster, we're doomed. Yeah, well, Rhydon, I don't think Rhydon can learn any rock moves, though, no. can it? So it's not really a big threat. No, Onyx! Oh, Onyx. I thought you said Rhydon. No, it's the stupid Onyx. I have no moves for Onyx. Ouch. Theory, did Oak put a clip, uh, put a chip in your head, or maybe your character's in a VR world? I'm not sure. Makes sense, wouldn't it? Because, uh, how else are you able to have monsters fight each other? It's a different move. It's a different universe. If you watch uh, anything in the MCU, you'll be very familiar with how universes work. Yeah. It's pretty complex and it's better not to think about it. I don't know if, if any of you guys are a fan of uh Oh crap. The uh, game theory. I there's a video about like the Minecraft world and what it would take to survive in the Minecraft world, and how close it is, like, to the sun and all of that. It's very fascinating. I like watching a lot of the, the stupid game theory videos like that. Yeah. Like, for some instance... Some of the theories are quite stupid. Some, For instance, did you know, from research, uh, the... Oh, crap. The, um... Oh, crap, that game. That game that everybody plays. Um... Ooh, I can't remember it. Oh what well. What kind of game was it? It's it's the the uh, the game that sparked the Call of Duty Warzone. The one with the hmm. building. It's very colorful. Uh, open map. Hmm. Like PUBG, but uh, more cartoony. Yeah, I think the super high level is going to be worth it in the end. Fortnite, yes. Okay, so if you Fortnite. watch Game Theory's video, Fortnite takes place, I believe it was on Mercury. I think... Uh, what? You know, the planet closest to the sun? I know what that is. I meant, like, how is Fortnite on Mercury? I can't remember why, but, you know, the I think it has something to do with, like... The um, first of all, the gravity in the game, and then second of all, I think it, the the killer mist. There were a lot of supporting theories. Now, of course, just like any other video, there are plot holes, obviously, but it was just very funny if you think about it. You know, the mist is a, is constantly attacking you. Mercury is a very misty planet, um, and some gravity-related reasons. You know something I just realized? Not a solid. If we thing. wanted to, we could actually use mirror move as our badge boosting move, depending on what opponent we face. Um, I'm not going to do that. 
the more I do this run, the more I realize mirror move is going to be awful. If I get hit by it, by no, ice I decided beam, to teach it. I'm not going to want to use ice beam. Well, it's really situational. Like, what if the opponent tries to use a sleep powder but missed? You could use a mirror move and use your own sleep powder. Oh, these are like, I'm never going to win strats. Are you serious? Uh, just believe in yourself. This, that, I've what? never seen that happen. Okay, so, um, uh, I just tried to hand the Poke Doll to the chick so I can get Mimic. Uh, turns out, exchanging the Poke Doll for the TM is not a one for one exchange. It clearly she must give no, you it is not. she must give you the the TM first because uh she told me to make room, which doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I figured that out a long time ago cuz I had that same thing happen to me. I'm like, "Oh, I think she gives you mimic first. If you have room for it, she'll give you mimic and then she'll take the poke it off." Maybe the Game Boy didn't have the ability to process one for one trades like at the same time. I don't know. My cousin did his work experience as an animator for Epic working on Fortnite. He told me about it years before it became big, and it was a tower defense game. Oh, I actually do remember that, but um, it, again, from another, like, game theory video. Um, it was, a like, a long time, like, tower defense game. Like, it was out for, I think, like, two years before it became the, the game we all know. Or something like that. You know, it was, like, against zombies and, and whatnot, like... A, like a tower defense zombie around kind of game. Oh yeah, Pidgeot, Pidgeot can learn Mimic, yes. Almost everything can. I'm just holding off on it. I have already taught it. I, you know that strategy I talked about mimicking rock throw against like Gravelers and, or Golems and whatnot? Yeah, that's that, yeah. Why would you want to mirror move rock throw? Because it's, uh... It's a physical move, which uses our physical stat, which is higher, and uh, it would be a non-resisted move. Uh, no, because ground resists rock. Oh, crap. Yeah, I was people only often think overlook that. I was but... only thinking in terms of rock. Because rock doesn't resist rock. But I forgot that and ground can resist rock. Yeah. That's why I always thought when I was younger, rock resisted rock. Yep. And that's why I still thought it. The only... Yeah. The only rock type in this game that doesn't have the ground typing... Well, technically, the fossils, as well as Aerodactyl. But how often do you face those things? Rock resisting rock would make sense. Uh, the re I've looked this up. Some guy made like a a video on like res explaining type immunities and resistances and stuff. He said the reason it makes sense rock doesn't resist rock is because you can use rocks to break other rocks. In fact, uh, if you're thinking in terms of diamonds, you exclusively use rocks to break other rocks. In fact, that's how um, that's kind of how digging works. Pretty much. It's not a good explanation. It's just an explanation. Oh my god, am I gonna... Is this Rhydon really gonna beat me because the first Pokemon burned me? Six. That I hurts. survived with six HP. Wow. Oh, you know what's funny? Have you uh, beaten Koga yet? Yes, uh, Kogo was my third uh, badge. Third badge? Yes. Jeez. That's not a statement you hear every day. He's usually my fourth. <laughs> Actually, usually now fourth that I think about it, well. he's my third badge, like, a lot. I, yeah, because, oh, like, most of the time when we get to Vermilion, we don't have cuts, so we just delay search. Right. Like, he's my third badge probably 50% of the time. Yeah. Well, I'm out of that move. I mean, he's either third or fifth.
because usually if um if I have cut by then, then I'm able to defeat uh, Surge and Erica. Yeah. It's sad that I, I love Fly, even though it's not a good move. Yeah, in later gens, uh, even though they kept Fly at 95 accuracy, they at least upped it to 90 base power, so at least it's somewhat good. How is it that Steel is super effective against Rock? Have you been trying to use a sword on a rock? Uh... I think um, it's because you use like a metal, t like a, you use a metal pickaxe to break rock, but you can't use a rock pickaxe to break metal. I don't know. I always actually just, I just kind of looked at Steelix. I'm like, hmm, you know, you turn your your uh, tail into steel, and yeah, you just kind of break rocks. It never, it never really, you know, didn't make sense to me that steel was super effective against rock. Now, steel being like useless against everything else but rock. You know, that makes little sense. In fact, I think Damn, it's like resisted. this is uh, not a fun Pokemon to fight. It's like, I think it's even resisted by water. Like, <laughs> I like to think, oh, uh, Steelix, use uh, steel or Iron Tail, and then like just watching the, the um, tail hit the water and be like, what did you think was going to happen? <laughs> 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 yeah, I often forget water resists steel. You probably had to learn the type two, the Gen two type chart when you made those overlays. Yes, um, I I saw a lot of these little similarities. So for those of you guys who don't know, I spent the entire weekend uh, making ch type charts for uh, Gen two, and I still only got managed to get like two hundred and five, I think, of the two hundred and forty, or two, sorry, two hundred fifty Pokemon. So I didn't even finish, but uh, I got a lot of the common typings done. So I got all of the monotypes done. And when I say background, I mean essentially if you look at the bottom Swag left hand, holder. yeah, if you look at the bottom left hand corner of my screen, uh, and the bottom middle of my screen, and then you know the whole screen itself, those are the the um, things that I had to change. So like for instance. Um, like a Magmar and a Charmander. They're both fire types, so the only thing I have to change uh, between Magmar and Charmander is the stats in the bottom left-hand corner. So it's not as difficult as it sounds, but once you start getting to, like, for instance, flying types, there are, like, 15 different flying types. It's crazy. Like, there's fire flying, there's bug flying, there's grass flying, there's so many flying types. Oh, by the way, I just fought a Scyther that had Swords Dance. So, uh, if uh, I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say, yes, it learned Swords Dance by level up. Oh, okay. I have yet to see a Pinsir, but, um... Because the Scyther learned Swords Dance, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say uh, it also learned Swords Dance. Probably does, yeah. Okay, well, I'm level 56. I've done the last three gems like I said I would, but I am uh, not done much else. Holy crap, I never pick up that item. So if you. Uh, if you don't already know, the item that's usually in Giovanni's Gym is a revive. So it's usually beyond useless. Today, it was a rare candy. I saw that too. Bye, Michaela. Glad you can go. I'm mean, glad you can stop by. Okay, let's do this. What? What do you mean, let's do this? I'm at the Elite Four. No way. I haven't even done Rival 6 yet. I've been, I think I've been ahead of you almost the entire run. Yeah, the two things that caused you to be Because when you decided ahead. to check, when you decided to check Bill, uh, I already fought Bill like a half hour prior. Well, uh, the only reason why we're, we're different right now is because you probably beat, oh, crap, hold on, uh, so there are two thing, two trainers that I lost against. I lost against, um, 
the for the trainers in front of Giovanni. And I had to give up. And then I also lost against the Super Rod one trainer. Oh. Those two trainers put me so far behind uh, in this yeah. run because I think you beat them both. Uh, I beat them both after, like, three resets each. Right. I had to give up. Come back later. The sad thing is, were, yeah. I'm pretty sure they were both useless. Yeah, you did say you were level 32 when you went to the, the guy guarding the Super Rod house. I was, uh, 35 when I was there, so I just used the one candy to evolve. And that ended up helping me win. Okay, well, we're gonna go ahead and chalk up Rival uh -oh. 6 as a loss, but, um... I may need to come back and mimic recover. It's been a while since I got a reset. Well, that was my first reset at the league. Oh no, so you're saying someone's hard? Eh, it wasn't really hard. It's not like it was a brick wall, like Jolteon with Gyarados. Oh, how dare you, Sand Slash. Sand Slash hit me with with Swift while I was in the air. That's just embarrassing. I was uh, getting my butt kicked by a Slowbro that was spamming Withdraw. Yeah, that'll do it. The big difference is Double Edge. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you never found Double Edge? I had Double Edge for over half the run. Since when? Uh, you want to know where it was? I mean, I'm not going back to get it. Oh. It was where the TM for, uh, Double Edge usually is in the game, in the Rocket Hideout. So it was where it's supposed to be. You can't see it, but my mouth was, it was just, it was dropped. I'll be sure to watch the VOD later. I, I, oh, my, my heart has, has sunk. That, that's, oh, I have checked like 80% of the TMs. Even the ones that I would normally never consider checking, I've checked. I almost always check Double Edge. I almost exclusively never check Double Edge. And... I know it looks right, like I just. this fight at level 69? I know it looks like I just flew to tr to go get double edge. No, 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 no. I went to heal. I just happened to land on that city. Uh huh. No, no, no. no. I I really did fly back to Viridian. I had to heal after. Oh, you went um, to Viridian oh. after Bill. No, okay, not. Uh... Wait. I flew to. You know, when I picked up double edge, my brain just thought it was hidden power. <laughs> Because in, like, every Pokemon game that I play, except for Red and Yellow, TM10 is usually hidden power. Boy, this is going to be rough. Um, you're way more prepared than me. I'm pretty sure you went into a league at a higher level than me. I'm pretty sure you have more rare candies yeah. than me. And uh, you've got uh, a yeah, better moveset I... than me. So this is about to get uh, yeah. real rough. <laughs> yeah, I checked basically everywhere. I don't know if... Oh, yeah, the reset. Freeze. Uh, I don't know if you checked this one, but there was a rare candy where the nugget usually is in the copycat girl's room. <laughs> no, I didn't check. But um, my brain said to check it, and then my other side of my brain was like, nah, you don't need to do that. Yeah, for the f I, through the final half of the game, like I was checking literally every item I could. I checked every item in Sylph looking for rare candies. Now I'm level 69 for the champion. Oh, this is this is very bad. And am... for me, it's quite nice. This this is about to get real rough. I am I'm just going through Victory Road now, and I'm level fifty eight. Oh, you, yeah, I'm struggling at level seventy. Struggling? Oh no. Do you at least have uh, no mercy speed to feed him? Do you have yeah. uh, mimic? That might be a difference. Uh, yes. Oh. You know what? I should probably teach it now. I don't. Mirror move has helped a couple of times, but I'm gonna get rid of it for mimic. We don't. We don't want to hear. We don't want to. You know, we're gonna start calling Jolty on the J word. After the last run. Maybe we could I mean, start. Come on! I don't think Jolteon has earned its reputation that bad yet. 
Uh, I mean, it was it was pretty rough in the last run. I'm gonna mimic rest. Okay, you're right. It probably doesn't deserve the. Oh, you know what? There is something I can do that you didn't do. Um, I have a shitload of money. I can go pick up a bunch of stuff. Are you gonna get hyper beam? What? No, that that would be beyond stupid. Oh. No, 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 I'm talking about uh, going to go pick up a bunch of, uh, what are they called? Uh, vitamins. Oh, I actually went to the department store, like, when I was nearing the end of my run. Uh, I actually bought five proteins. I don't want to hear that. That just, that you just made this sound like it's about to be even harder, because I didn't do that. Mimic on butter. Yeah, that's what I'm deciding to do. Come on, stay asleep, you idiot. Okay, let's go ahead and sell that. Uh, TM2. I don't think I was able to... Oh, well, never mind. Uh, buy... I did use that, but it was... I only used it in one fight, and it didn't even crit. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. How many, uh, how many do I have? Um, I have... I have no full restores. Oh boy, I don't know how much money I have left now. One twenty-seven oh seven with sixteen resets at level seventy. Oh, ninety grand. Do you know how many, how much money four full restores costs? Uh, twelve thousand dollars. Thank you. Yeah, they're three thousand a buck. Pop. Yeah. My game time is 5 hours and 20 minutes. I think that's one of the highest game time finishes in a while. Like, your time time wasn't that bad, though. No, it was not, actually. It was kind of what I predicted. I think I predicted an hour 35. Alright, well, we're about to do this with no badge boosting, except for Mimic. And I don't know if you kept Sand Attack the whole time, but I have Sand Attack, so... I didn't. We're, we're about to have one difference between our runs. Uh, Alright, so it looks like Pidgeotto and Pidgeot's going to get 10th place under Hitmonlee, but above Horsey, Seedra, and Aerodactyl. So, quite a nice consistent run, but yeah, not the best. And definitely the highest game time, for sure. Well, let's go check in with uh, your stream. This is... Oh, that's a dugong. Oh, Dugong's bad for me. Oh, it used Growl, which I mean, is normally good for me, but I just missed a fly. So, yeah. Mm, mm, that's... Oh, and another attack drop. That's... Oh, mm, mm. oh Parasect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Victory Bell. Okay, I can one-shot that. No, I can't. I can't one-shot that. Oh, oh, it was a five-turn wrap. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> five-turn wrap. I probably would have won. Ouch. <laughs> oh, please no. Oh my How god, many I missed. How candies do you have? It missed without the smoke screen. <laughs> oh, that's painful to see. Ouch. Oh, this is very painful. Okay, well. Oh, wait, hold on. That's amnesia that I just didn't decide to mimic, but okay. It wouldn't have been that useful, but you know what? Maybe the the I could have probably tanked an Aurora Beam better. Okay, well, Amnesia it is. Let's see, Fly, Swift, Sand Attack, and Mimic. It's hmm. not a good move side. I did have Fly, and I did have Swift. And instead of Mimic, I had Mirror Move for the most of it. I used Mimic on the Champion, but I also did have Double Edge. The uh, Magmar is really pissing me off. Yeah. Oh, great. And I'm gonna about to, 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 to level up, too. So, um, this stat boost, kind of useless. Fantastic. I mean, then again, like, you'll build your special up, and the Aurora Beam won't deal that much. Yeah, unless I miss that fly. Okay, that did nothing, but, um, attack drop, you know? This, I don't know what, you know, you can look up, oh my god, another attack drop. What is the chances of an attack drop from Aurora Beam? It feels like 50%. Uh, let me look it up. It 
it's hitting at like a 50% rate. Let me look this up. Uh, it's a 33.2% chance. You know, that's about what it feels like, actually. That feels yeah. very, very accurate. In, uh, yeah. yeah, in Gen 2 onwards, it was 10%. So they really nerfed it. Uh, well. <laughs> you know what? Sure. <laughs> that, that just happened. So, um, I mimicked... Was it self-destruct? Smokescreen. By accident. Then, I used Fly, and it used self-destruct, and then the next Pokemon that came out was Venusaur, which probably got taken down by Fly. That was the most lucky Bruno battle I've... Uh, I mean, I've had a lot of lucky Bruno battles, because Bruno's bad, but that was one of the most lucky Bruno battles that looked like skill ever. Yeah. That was an and accident. And then again, in these randomizers, Bruno can be hard, because, like, what if he has a, a wheezing with explosion? Like last time. Oh, Hyper Beam. You know? Uh... Recharge turn... Honestly, Double Edge with this... Honestly, Double Edge with the same type of attack bonus was already killing everything, so Hyper Beam was not really not needed. What? The super... We... I just learned something. The, um... You can... The, the, when the opponent uses a super potion, that replaces the recharge turn. Wait, it does? It just used a well, super I mean, potion, makes... and then the next turn attacked. That would make sense, because isn't that how it would work if you did it? Like, if you used Hyper Beam, it, does it let you... Oh, wait, no, it does the recharge immediately. It doesn't let you use an item. Right, but the, it didn't work like that for the opponent. Oh. Uh, the, it, the opponent cheats. Like, I've seen the opponent use, like, Clamp or something. It would use a potion halfway through the Clamp and then continue Clamping. I've seen that, too. Um, That's Blaine. The AI cheats. The AI cheats. Yeah, but it cheats a lot more in Pokemon Stadium. I don't know if any of you guys have played Pokemon Stadium, but it legit cheats. Like, we're not we're not saying like, oh man, my luck is real bad. No, 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 no. It actually cheats. Uh, I haven't speed ran Pokemon Stadium in like at least a year. I don't remember the Blaine battle. Well, I don't know about Blaine in that game, but it was. Oh, you're talking Stadium Two. No, I, I actually have not played a lot of Stadium 2, but I've played a lot of Stadium 1. I'm telling you right now, um, like, percentages are off. Like, crit chances are higher for the opponents, and, like, chances of, like, stun, you know, on, like, Body Slam are way higher. I actually looked this up about Pokemon Stadium. Uh, I don't know if I learned it from you or from someone else, but uh, the crit chance was actually modified in Pokemon Stadium, but it's still based on your speed. And uh, if you if you roll that Gen 1 miss, it'll actually just roll your accuracy again, but it won't do it a second time. So a Gen 1 miss in Pokemon Stadium is a 1 in 65,000 chance. Oh, that's cool. Um, yeah. So you know you're unlucky when you get a Gen 1 miss in Pokemon Stadium. <laughs> I did not know that, but now that you point it out, I've watched a lot of Pokemon Stadium gameplay because one of the... Um, one of my favorite streamers, he does Pokemon Stadium randomizers. Uh, well, not randomizers. He does... he His team is random, but not the opponents. But, um... So, I don't know if I've ever seen him Gen 1 miss. Which you would think I'd see it happen all the time. To be fair, a lot of the moves that um, the Pokemon that he uses have a chance of just like a high chance of just straight missing because he's using random like the the rental pokemon and the rental pokemon have like moves like thunder so you would never know yeah i think i did once say you can theoretically gen one miss a thunder and never know it because the move's not 100 percent accurate okay i find it very funny that uh <laughs> oh my god uh, that Butterfree is weak to fly. It just feels like it shouldn't be. I always forget that Butterfree is a flying type. Like, sometimes I would not use Thunderbolt on it, because I think it's a bug and poison type or something. I saw your comment about the rare candy, but I, I want to give it another try first. Um, I think the Sleep Powder Strat's actually quite good. 
at least to get past Dugong. Yeah. Don't it be just... like you were with Snorlax. Like you were trying no, to like. Uh, right, you right. Were willing but to do thirty resets. That that was testing for luck. This one, this one's just straight. You know, I I'm I'm I can't do it. Um, I think the problem uh, is I was using Fly on Dugong, and it gave it a chance to wake up and use Ice Beam, which was bad for me. Executor? Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know if I can one-shot Executor. It's got okay defense. I didn't think I could. That makes sense. All right. Now we got... Oh, Blastoise. Oh, and I missed. Okay. Luckily, this Blastoise doesn't have Blizzard. So, um... The regular versions of the game it has Blizzard. We, I, I think we were just talking with Speedrunner about this the other day. In Pokemon Red, um, Red Blue, the um, the team is modified to have Blizzard, which is not something it typically l learns via level up. Which is rare yeah, because there like are the not. The Blastoise will have. Yeah, there are not a lot of Pokemon yeah, that like have moves or that have their team like move sets modified yeah but i've noticed like it's not like it's not like the same thing as it is with the gym leaders like on the gym leaders aces and these randomizers they always have their uh signature move but the champion's final pokemon does not have that blizzard fire blast or whatever it was i think it's applied differently <laughs> i love seeing some pokemon at level five it's always funny yeah. Okay. Well, you know, that Man, was better than I thought. Yeah. 136, 38. 22 resets. Yeah. I mean, I did Much think I was going to get 34 resets. I don't remember what time I said at the beginning. I think Game Dev um, called it very close this time. I'm going to look at um, my comments going all the way up. Uh, 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 never mind. No, he didn't. I could have sworn I saw that. Man, you're... Your game time was roughly the same as me, so I think we just took roughly similar paths. I think early on I just did a lot more training and I searched for candies more seriously. That makes sense. Um, I did a lot less training than I thought I would. Level 63 is kind of high though, but I think that's just straight up the level, slow level up group. Also, I didn't use any candies. Yeah, it was I was just, level 70 when I beat this guy. It was just super lucky that the first Pokemon happened to be Butterfree, so I can mimic Sleep Powder. Otherwise, that last battle would have been yeah. hard. That's what I ended up doing, too. I tried to mimic Rest, but I realized the Dugon was just going to spam Ice Beam, so I decided not to do that. Okay, well, uh, tomorrow I will be playing... I believe it's Kangaskhan. So... Look out for that run tomorrow. Um, tonight, we're going to be playing... Uh, me speed and Speedrunner are going to be doing another practice run with uh, Gen 2 Randomizer. Um, obviously, we're not streaming that. But if things are getting pretty good. I think we've, we've just now completed two Gen 2 Randomizers in a row without having to um, stop and strategize. Which is, which is good. That's yeah. what you want. You want to be able to play the game without having to super think about the strategy. Like, um, do I have to use the pass? Do I have to use the um, SS Aqua to get to the other side of the world um, yeah. in an unnatural way? Yeah. Quick pop quiz. Where's the lost item? Uh... <laughs> I still don't know. <laughs> I want to say it's the Mr. Pokemon, you... the Miss, the Pokemon fan's house, but the second guy. Uh, yep, it's in the fan club. Okay, but there's another item right after the Lost Club item. I still don't know. Pass. Yeah, that's it. I don't know how to get the pass. You just gotta give the girl the lost item. Right. Again, never did that in my entire life. I always thought the railway system was there for, like, Link battles and shit. Because I never <laughs> was able to do it. I've only ever done that in Heart Gold, because I never played Crystal when I was younger. I didn't play Crystal till it was on the 3DS Virtual Console. I was, like, 15 years old, I believe. I played Crystal. Anyways, guys, have a nice night.